助けに。Hi guys, this is Cash, and I'm checking in with you from Frankfurt, Germany, with Ignite Thermogenic Fat Burner. This is my little secret to keeping lean and having good energy throughout my busy days while I travel. So I want you guys to be sure to check out Ignite, especially if you're trying to get yourself in shape for this summer. Oh, Ignite is gonna get you into bikini body shape. You know, I gotta show you guys a bit of what's going on. Ignite is gonna help you get the results that you want. You're gonna love this product. I certainly do. So I'll put the link down below for the website. Be sure to check them out on Instagram and use my promo code to get great discounts. Check in with you guys soon. Guys, what the fuck is going on? Look, right here, baby. Chaos. Right there. Welcome. I'm fucking sliding all over the place. To the Chaos Nutrition uh, Old School Training. Almost said talking smack. Alright, now, get this in your heads. Chaos Nutrition is the same guys that were with Rich Piana. In in a five percent, almost a six percent. I'm a little fucking wacky today, you know. I took my uh, my uh, whatever you call that shit, the fucking. Woof! I took the uh, it, it took three. I'm not supposed to take three, but I took three. The fucking game face things, and I'm a little bit loopy. Um, but Chaos Nutrition, getting back on track. I'm flying. Chaos Nutrition. Is uh is the same guys that were Rich Piana. They're Rich Piana's boys, okay, over there at five percent. One of them is Big Frank, and he's a f fucking monster, okay. If you never saw Big Frank, then you don't know how fucking. I told you before. I'm gonna say it again. He fucking dwarfed Rich Piana, okay, dwarfed him. Hey, he's he's taller. He's like you know, I'm peeling like shit over here, so forgive me. But anyway, he's uh he, he he's fucking humongous, man. Fucking Big Frank is a monster. He's like 6'5", too, so... And uh, I think like 375. You know, and we're talking light lean, not fat. Anyway, so chaosnutrition.com. All right? You can get one of, you know, you can get one of these badass shirts. Okay? And there, there's a movement, bro. Chaos Nutrition is a movement. It's like, uh... <clears throat> not on my flying, but I get... The fucking throat thing there. Uh, chaos nutrition is a movement like the way 5% used to be. Okay? And when they go to an expo, it's fun. So, we're going to... Joe and I are going to do a lot more with chaos nutrition. But we're going to... You're going to have to fucking... If, I, if I'm at anybody's booth, there's going to be their booth. So, we'll let you know. Gabish? All right. All right. So, I just... Uh, by the way, I just turned the camera off real fast. Put some fucking lotion on my face because it's peeling from... From uh, the burn. All right, listen to me. Let's do a quick some quick magazines, and then we'll get uh, we'll get done. I have probably showed this one before. I don't I don't remember which ones I showed. I got so many. I'm gonna show you a really old one in a minute. But look, right here, bro. Look at that. Okay, this uh, Muscle Digest was probably my favorite magazine because I was a big fan of Roy Liedlmeier. And by the way, if you ever met him in person. My God, was he huge. And with a small waist and everything. But he was my favorite. But anyway, look. Look at this. That's Tim Belknap. Remember him? Dude, he's the one who started all of that fucking... This is 1981, by the way. He's the one who started all of that uh, 
the insulin stuff, because he was a diabetic, or he is a diabetic, and, uh, he fought, dude, let me tell you something, if you saw Tim Belk nap beers when he won the show, okay, but if you saw him, look at all his thighs from back then, but if you would have saw Tim Belk nap, uh, before and after, it, it was mind, bo it was mind boggling, because, on the day of the show, he was so fucking big and full, and two, three days later, he'd see him as small. It all had to do with the, uh, 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 you know, the insulin. I mean, his, the way he would, I guess, carb up and with the insulin, I don't know, he knew what he was doing. I never saw a, a, a drastic change. You could see he'd win the show on Saturday, and by Monday for the photo shoot, it looked totally different. All right, I think I should just one, but I, you know, right there. Chris Dickerson, okay, the king, like the movie Black is King, <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit, bro, with the fucking Beyonce, <laughs> her and husband, fuck you bullshit, and fuck you Walt Disney for fucking kissing their ass like that, anyway, Chris Dickerson, I knew very well, he was, oh, he fuck shit, look, 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 bam, Whoop. Get back there. Look. That's Tim Boknap right there. Even his face would change. It was the craziest thing. It didn't even look like the same guy. His face was so bloated. Look at Bertle Fox. Right there. Fucking bloated. Bloated like a motherfucker. But those were the days, bro. Those were the days. Larry Scott was a good guy. Remember this? Do you guys remember this old school ad? Remember the Larry Scott ad right there? Do you remember that? You remember that ad? Dude, that was like... That was famous. That was great stuff, Rick Wayne, you fucking momo. Anyway. I know Rick Wayne. I'm sorry about the whole Beyonce thing, but I can't help it. I, I, the, the fucking... Those people fucking, you know, sicken me. The Hollywood royalty. Like, they're... We're kings. I can't bend over. I lose my crown. A queen can't bend over. Whatever. Fuck you. Lion whore. Anyway. Um... Right here, guys. I'm putting... Covers a little loose. But do check this out. Ready? What year is this? Oh, 1948. I got all the ones in this. 1948. It costs 20 cents for this magazine. Look at that. Right there. Can you see that? That's, let me see. Strength and Health. And it's George Efferman. See him? That's the magazine right there. Look at, dude, this magazine. Oh, there he is on the back, too, selling the barbells. Look, see the barbells right there? $39 for that whole fucking thing back then. George Efferman. Can you see it? Look, I don't have a cameraman. Look, dude, remember the leg shoes? They always had these leg shoes. Look, remember that shit? Look, those are the those are the leg shoes. So when you do legs, instead of doing squats, guys, you do leg shoes and shit. That's fucking crazy. I mean... This is really... Look, that's what hot girls look like back then. Your grandmother. That's your grandmother right there. My my mother, your grandmother. Okay, look at Look at Look at Right there. Those are hot weightlifting girls. Not by my standards, but, you know. What are you going to tell you? You know. A lot of exercise shit in here. But, you know, you look at these guys like... Like, look at that was... Look at that physique. Okay. Now, today, obviously, that'd be the natty physique, you know. But give me a break. Holy shit. Oh, I thought I had this other magazine I was going to show you guys. But, uh, anyway. That's some of the old school magazines. I figured I'd show you that. Wait, what did I do with the, f the fucking cover? just flipped off this. Oh, right here. <clears throat> My voice is really bad. Uh, you know, remember, again, Strength and Health Magazine. Believe it or not, 1948. Th believe it or not, that is the brother to Muscle uh, Muscular Development magazine that I worked for for all those years. There was two magazines, Strength and Health and Muscular Development. And the Strength and Health, you know, when Steve Blackman took over, he got rid of that. So, <clears throat> oh, the voice is fucking bad. All right, let me find my clipboard and let's get started. All right, first question. By the way, as we get started right here, my boy, Pulley the Mail. 
God rest his soul. He's a good man. I liked him very, very much. And we were good friends. So, God bless you, Paul. Alright. First question. Greg Duke. Tape, uh... He just wrote, Taper or Blast and Cruise? What are your thoughts? Okay, he's talking about the Bobania, okay? He's talking about, you know, maybe testosterone and shit like that. Um, my nose is peeling. First off, I think a little bit different than most guys. For me, okay, for me, I felt better when I took steroids. I started off at a high dose and didn't really necessarily build up a dose, okay? I started high. And this was what explained to me a long time ago, and this is the way I'm going to explain it to you. <clears throat> if you had five, you know, you're sitting at a dinner table and there's like ten people, and each one has an empty glass of water, an empty glass for water. You know, you'd have to come out with a couple pitches of water, right, and fill up all ten glasses. You're not going to fill up with one pitcher, probably going to need like five, you know, uh, three to five pitches because you got to fill up ten glasses, right? Am I, you, you get what I'm saying? So you need more volume of water to fill up those ten glasses. Now, once those ten glasses are filled, okay, you could put one pitcher of water in the middle. So if anybody takes a couple sips, now there's a little bit, you know, now there's some space there because they drank instead of eight ounce glasses, you know, you got it ten eight ounce glasses. Now you got maybe someone's got six ounces, so we put a little more water in there to make it eight. You got beach. So what I'm trying to, t to tell you is that I always felt with your receptors, they were like the glasses. They were open. They were like, feed me, feed me. So I wanted to dump. I wanted to fill each receptor totally full. Okay, so it's, it's working now. And they're all full and they've all got a job to do. All right? And then I need less steroid than I did at first. I, that's my way of cruising. I didn't pyramid, like he's asking me, he, he, uh, you know, should he blast and cruise or, or taper up? And I don't know if I said that right at the beginning, I don't know if I said taper up or not. But he was, no, should I taper up or blast and cruise? To me, I blast and I just cruise, baby. I like cruising, I like staying there at that altitude. Listen. Same thing, if you're going to go on a highway, right, and you're on a ramp and you're waiting, you got to push your foot down on the gas, right? And it dumps more gas in there when you push your foot down. But when you're on a highway, you can almost take your foot off the gas, you know, very lightly touch the, and you're, you're going fucking 60, 70, 80 miles an hour, right? It doesn't take, but when you first to get up to that, are you guys listening to what I'm trying to say? To get up to that. 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. You got to push your foot down on the gas. And you tape it. See, they with a fucking airplane, right? An airplane, when it gets up, it's got to, it, it wastes more fuel climbing. And then once it's level, it just stays there and it, it's, it's cruising. It's nice. It lets the wind take it all bay. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice thing. That's the way I do with the steroids. That's what I like to do. Because I feel. If you if you still had those ten eight ounce glasses of water, and you're trying and you fill each one with eight ounces of water, right? Now somebody drinks out of them, you know, you, as your receptors work and you, they start to clear out, you add a little bit more. But if you try to put another eight ounces, you're going to spill it over, right? You can't put if there's eight ounces of water in there already. If somebody drinks, uh, I don't know, three ounces out, and that is five ounces, you know, it's still of water in there, but you got three ounces of space to reuse. If somebody tries to put eight ounces, it's going to spill over. And that was my theory, was that too much drug will start to spill over. And I never had bitch tits, and I didn't really get ball shrinkage. But that's also, I think, genetic, too. I think guys with big areolas and guys with, who are genetically uh, predetermined have small nuts already. You're going to get that fucking, you know, your little gagoots there are going to get down, you know, small. But for me, I like to keep the babanya level now. I would toss a few things in, you know, sometimes a little something different. They had a little receptor a little different way. But for the most part, that's why I told you. <clears throat> I was religious with my uh, 6,000 uh, 6, milligrams of test. I would take the fuck on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. A whole bottle of test on Monday, a whole bottle of test on Wednesday, and a whole bottle of test on Friday. Most of the time it was propanate because it's fast acting, got in there fast. 
okay? And if I was going to pepper in some, uh, you know, if I was going to pepper in, uh, 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 you know, sustenance and a few other little things, I would still pepper it in on those days. But those were my juice days. And those days, I always did the same amount. I never said, you know what, today I'm only going to do half a bottle. I always did the same thing. And I just stayed at that like that. Everybody's different, bro. Now, I don't even know if I'm even answering your questions right. That's the way I felt the best. And, you know, this way here... You know, I, I, you know, I could throw in some orals and other stuff, true and equipoise, you know what I mean? I, you know, but I, I, I would also figure that in the same way. You know, and I give it time. You guys, you guys, I don't know why I feel like some of you guys are lost what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know why. Listen to me. That's the way I did shit, okay? You got to experiment. I don't like all that pyramiding up and pyramiding down. Okay, it's because as you get up there, you start filling up the glass. You're gonna, you're gonna. It's, it's not. First of all, it's not enough, and I feel like your body's gonna respond because it's an open fucking glass. It's gonna, it's gonna need more. It's an open eight ounce glass can take more water than a, than a, than an eight ounce glass that already has water in it. And I know what some of you fucking geniuses gonna say. Well, what, why then? Why didn't you just? What about the next week? Are you sticking the same amount of testosterone in there? That's the way I did it. I like to cruise. I felt like just keep it at that altitude. All right. I didn't raise it up. I didn't drop it down. I stayed. Then when it comes time to fucking go off. You taper it down. Obviously, tapering down is more important. That's really the key here. Is tapering down is more important than tapering up. I don't believe in. I don't like tapering up. For me, I don't know. Maybe I didn't answer your question right. Maybe you meant something different. But you're saying here tapering up or blasting cruise. I like blasting and cruising. Always love blasting and cruising. That's the way I do it. Okay, this is the way I did it. There you go. I didn't like that tapering up shit. Let's get to the fucking thing. Let's just do it, bro. Let's get there. This is our number that we're going to hit. Bam, 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 bam. There you go. And we're off. We're off to the races. Next question. All right. Matthew Liguori. 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 Hope we're saying the name I do this, you know. Let me get here. Say everything wrong. But Matthew, thank you. I answered one of your questions last week. I see your questions. A lot of you guys do. Leave me fucking questions, man. You know, a lot of you guys are like, oh, do it. I love your videos. And I, thank you. I appreciate it. But how about throwing some questions there? Anyway, Matthew. Matthew. Sorry. I said Matthew like I'm sneezing. Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Anyway, Matthew. If you backload. What? If you backload a dart, inject into the tricep. And hit the tricep on a day of injection. Are you damaging the muscle? And hit the tricep today. I guess you mean work it out, right? If you, if you hit triceps, delt, and chest, would you avoid hitting that muscle for the day or so? Thanks. Okay, Matt. Um, let me see if I'm getting this question right. You're saying if you hit the tricep, and then, uh, you know, if you, you're saying if you, you stick a dart in there and you fucking, you inject the babanya, uh, you know, in the, in the tricep, let's say, that day, and then you want to go do triceps, will it affect it? Or will it damage it? Anytime you stick a needle in a muscle, of course you're damaging it. You, you, you're, you're cutting through fibers, you're, bre you're breaking through fibers, and, you know, you get scar tissue. Dude, I'm a walking fucking scar tissue, you know, I got hard spots all over me, bro, you know what I mean, I'm a walking fucking scar fucking factory over here, from taking so much, injury. there's not a bodybuilder who isn't, they all have scar fucking, you know, hot, hard spots and bullshit from taking a J. so the answer is yes, all right, but obviously if you're going to have a little bit of fucking scar tissue, and it's on your tricep, it makes your tricep look a little bigger, right, because it's going to, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, now, I know that <coughs> back in the day, I don't, I can't remember the chemical warfare guys. I, I met one of them and I can't remember his name. And I think one did dead anyway. But I remember them saying that, uh, you know, they would like to go and they would hit the tricep, let's say, and then go do triceps that day. You know, they, you know and the pump was mind-blowing, you know. And uh, 
I'm not sure if Boston Lloyd used to go and take the shot after the gym. You know what I mean? After hitting that body part and take the shot. I think I've seen him do that. I I really can't really speak for him. I'm not, I'm not sure. Everybody's different. But for me, it, 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 you know, it really didn't matter. I didn't really like to take the shot and then go train. I'd rather train first than take the shot because I felt it would affect me in the gym. And I think that's what you're asking me. You know, I felt like it would affect the pumps, even though I would get a pump. It's just, I want to feel the pain of training. It's a different pain than if you're already sore from taking a shot. Okay, so for me, Matt, if I got your question right, if you're going to shoot a body part, if you're going to locate the shot, and you're using triceps as an example, if it was me, I would go do my triceps first and then take the shot. Now, in the past, it has happened where I have shot, you know, let's say the tricep or the bicep or whatever, and then did the fucking, and then trained. I just didn't like it as much as I liked it better after the muscle was already beat up. And then I felt in my mind, I felt like putting the babanya right in that spot that I just trained. It's, you know, the the, the muscle's going to absorb the oil and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the drug, you know, the babanya. And it, I felt like it's going to go right there anyway. So you follow what I'm saying? I just felt this is just a, a thing. Doesn't There's no science behind it, bro. So don't take me, you know, don't fucking sit here and I need some science guy going, wow, well, technically, you know, your body absorbs and I don't need that shit. I'm just telling you what you're asking me the way I felt. And I would rather do the body part first and then shoot that body part than do, than shoot it and then train it. I, I, I hope that's what you're asking me. Okay? I hope that's what you're asking me. And I did believe, uh, though, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. I do believe the one thing Boston Lloyd and I had coming, and I had it way before him because he was a little boy when I, you know, when I was already doing that shit. But, uh, I never believed in having air in that, C in that fucking syringe. I was, was straight CC, dude, it's full syringe, always. Always. I never fucking said, let me use a little hand. You know, no. For me, it was the whole deal. So I'd stick something else in there. You know, if there, if there was only this much left, if I took out, there was only one cc left, as, you know, because in a bottle, of, like I said, I used to take a whole bottle of, uh, uh, excuse me, a whole bottle of, what the fuck, the testosterone, you know. I would take a whole bottle, but there's 10 cc's in here. Your syringe is only 3 cc's, right? So I would take 3, you know, 3 and 3. There was one cc left over, right? Yeah, throw a little equipoise in there, fill it up with the two cc's, and then one cc a test. Never did I leave. Why would I leave space? This is all my fucking thinking. Okay, and I wouldn't put it all in one and move it around. But what I'm saying is, you know, that's how I would do it. And I would do it after, after I trained it. I didn't like to do it before I trained it. So, if that answers your question, Matt. Next. <clears throat> Elf. I think it's Elf. It's E L F thirty one. Nice name. Uh, I want to try Dave Palumbo's formula for COVID eighteen, but zinc bothers my stomach. What can I do? Guys, listen to me. Listen to me. I have a problem with uh, zinc too. If I take any form of zinc. On its own, for some reason, it bothers my stomach. I get nauseous. Sometimes I think I gotta fucking, you know, throw up the pill. You know, we, and that's not good. Throwing up is never good. Dave, they give me... Oh, uh, though, guys, listen to me. Dave's my friend. Okay, I get this shit for free. So I'm not trying to sell his product from... But did, you know, I do take his, his Vitalize. is one of the things I do take. And the reason why is because it's chelated zinc in here, and that seems to really be a most absorbable form of zinc. And the, and the thing is, zinc on its own, I think it works better in synergy. Now, you don't have to take that, guys. I'm just telling you right now, it's not a plug for his shit. It's what I fucking take, you know. It's what I take. I don't give a shit if you buy it or not. Um, you know, somebody in my family had the COVID, and, uh, you know, Dave gave me that, and... You know, we did the whole quinine thing and all that shit. And it did help a lot, all right? But listen to me. The tonic water, which is quinine. When you take zinc, zinc will help your fucking ugats down there. Okay, your gagoots, they'll help your fucking, your pichelian. 
okay it's going to help it because it what it does is zinc also helps with testosterone you know with your own testosterone production and i don't really notice like a, a, a kick in a, in a in a boners or any of that shit but i think sometimes my libido climbs a little bit with the zinc it could be fucking in my head i don't know you know what i mean um the other thing is when you take uh, it, 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 listen whenever you take vitamins or minerals like zinc those they work best in synergy so if you need zinc and you want to take an x amount of zinc for you know like a covid and everything if you need that it's be i think it works best and gets absorbed better all the minerals guys i don't care what you're t i don't care if you need more potassium i don't care if you need more magnesium they all work better when in the presence of other minerals so instead of going out and buying a fucking bottle of zinc, I like the zinc mixed in. Now, you don't have to take it. I think he's got, this shit is uh, mineralized. Is it, I never even looked. I just take it. But, yeah, it's all your, I mean, all your minerals are in here. Uh, yeah, it's vitamins and minerals. I'm not saying you have to take the vitamins with the mineral, you know, but minerals by themselves. Okay, magnesium, potassium, calcium, zinc, you know, all those different things get absorbed so much better in the presence of other. It's just like B vitamins, bro. You think B vitamins, like B complex is so much better than going out and just taking a, a specific like B12. Or you could get extra B12 with your B complex. Okay, but they work in synergy. Your body absorbs it better in the presence of the other fucking vitamins. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it does work. And the reason why Dave touts the zinc is because zinc helps to boost your immune system. I mean, look at zinc lozenges, zinc that even zinc lozenger has actually made my stomach a little whoopsie, not bad, but I could feel it in there. The zinc lozenges, you know, because I'm very, I don't know why that's one of the few things. Same thing with fucking niacin, bro. Forget no niacin for me. That shit will kill me. You know, even the smallest amount. And not the flush free. I'm talking about the, not the, the non-flush free. The regular real nice. And not that flush free shit, you know. I'm talking about the real deal. That shit will fucking fuck me up. It, but yet, if I take uh, a multivitamin and it's nice and in there, I don't get that rush. Now, I don't. I just know that your body works better with that. And we want zinc. Zinc, will, zinc helps to fight. Uh, 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 helps to bring, uh, you know, your, it helps build your RNA cells, but it also helps to fight viruses, all viruses, okay? And it definitely up to, improves your immune system. This is important. But so do a lot of the other minerals. That's why you want them all there, okay? That's why those minerals are really, really important. Zinc is especially important to men for that fucking, you know, be sure they got, you know, fucking health down here. You want your piece of league out to be good. You want that shit standing up like this. <laughs> or, you know, you want to have a sex drive and shit. It actually doesn't help me get a boner, but it does help me with sex drive, and it does help supposedly push your testosterone up a little bit, you know. It, it, probably like, dro that's like taking an eyedropper full of, like, arsenic and dropping it in a swimming pool. One eye drop, one little drop. And say, well, there's arsenic in that water, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I drop full. I mean, it's not really, it's not like you're going to be like, holy shit, I'm taking this zinc. But if you're deficient in zinc and it's affecting your sex drive and you do take that shit, it will be noticeable. All right. And if you are trying to fight COVID or if you're trying to prevent yourself from getting viruses, have your fucking immune system strong. And in my opinion, that's the best thing to fight these fucking viruses and everything is to get your immune system really strong. Okay, so it, it, it can attack when your immune system's down, bro. You're fucking the common cold to fucking wipe you out. There's some people get the common cold and they're in bed for two weeks. You know what I mean? Other people get it and they, you know, ah, oh, shit, I don't feel so good, but I'm, I'm fine. And, you, you, gabish, okay, you, you understand what I'm telling you? Alright, so that's the deal. That That's why I take Dave's shit. He sends it to me when, you know, and uh, I, I definitely fucking take it. It definitely works. I can tell you now it definitely works. 
And if you bolster somebody's immune system through, you know, giving them zinc and quinine and all, you know, they do take like the, you know, the, what they're supposed to take, the medicines, it helps. But you want to, to build up a resistance before you get any disease and to help your body and to help recuperate and rebuild cells and the whole bit, zinc is good. But take it with other minerals. Don't just go out and run to the fucking store or go online and buy fucking giant jugs of zinc. Because some people, like myself, it does bother the stomach. And we don't want, nobody likes feeling like nauseous, you know. Alright, next question. Alright. Is my final question. Paulie D, my friend. Now I know the DJ Paulie D, it's not him. Uh, my friend owns a gym in Florida, but they want everyone to wear a mask. He is looking for ideas to help his way around this and last and at least minimize uh, this having to wear masks is what he's saying. Any ideas? That's what he asked me. Uh, okay, let's talk about the covert. The covert. Sorry, I keep saying covert and everything. What are you saying covert? Simmer down, you know what I mean. Simmer, simmer down. Simmer down. Alright. Um. Alright, so, so your friend owns a gym. And floor. By the way, bro, by the way, my friend Bob Bonham lives in Florida, and he was just thrown out of a gym that he's been training in for like five years now. Thrown out because he took his mask off. I mean, Bob's fucking 69 years old, almost 70 years old. He took his mask off, and they threw him out of the gym. That's not nice. Give me a break with all this shit. Now... He, he he was wearing it, but I guess he was having trouble breathing. He took it off, and he drew him out of a gym. So he had to go to another gym. And that's in Florida, so I don't know. Maybe your friend's gym is the same gym. I don't know. Okay, so you're asking me, is there a way around this? There's not really much way around it. If that's the fucking law, you got to do what the law says. Like, look at the guys in Jersey. I, I applaud their, you know, the Tiller's gym guys. I applaud their, you know, tenacity, and I applaud what they're trying to do, and, you know, all that shit. But, dude, you're not going to win. You, you can't win. And it's not Trump's fault. On the contrary, Trump wants everything open. It's the fucking Democrats' fault. And I'm so sick and tired of people saying, uh, it's not the Democrats' fault. Yes, it is. It's only the fucking Democratic fucking states that are doing this bullshit. I live in one of, one of them. All right? There's no gyms open here. I, I, I wish I could at least train with a mask on. Can't train at all. You ask me, is there any way around this? The only way I would do, see, well, my old gym, when I owned a gym, I had a huge parking lot. Huge. You know? And I had giant bay doors, which because mine was once a warehouse, so we would open up bay doors and get like air sometimes, like when it was not so hot out or not so cold out, when it was just right out, so we'd let fresh air come in, and guys would go outside, sometimes take the, I'd let them take the dumbbells and barbell shit outside. So my only thing is, if you have a big parking lot, pull some of the weightlifting shit outside, and you know, keep it a little bit away from each other, like, you know, six feet, gotta be six feet, you know, and, uh, then I don't see what the fucking big deal is. I don't think you need a mask. The only thing, the biggest problem would be you gotta have, you gotta make sure that there's a little fucking spray station and everybody sprays down equipment after they use it, because that to me is the biggest problem. It's not the fucking mask and, and people. It's the shit that people leave on that machine because they don't spray the machine and then you're, you know, it's sweating, it's snotting and breathing breath on there and shit. And then you gotta go and don't spot nobody, bro. Don't spot nobody, especially with the bench pressing. You know where they're like. <sighs> And they're blowing a the fucking breath your own. I don't have hair anymore. But the hair, your hair's going up like this because they're blowing. You're leaning over like this to help them lift the body. And they're blowing your fucking rotten, stink ass fucking uh, Corona breath in your face. Just blowing that fucking Corona breath right in your face. You filthy fucks. Don't spot. Don't spot anybody. Tell them no. You're on your own, dude. If you can't lift it, don't fucking. If you can't lift it on your own, fuck you. Sorry. You know, COVID. Anyway. So, uh, you know, try putting some of the shit outside in the parking lot. What could they say? Of course, they could always find a reason. No, not opening means not opening. Or, you know, whatever. They still might might want you to wear a mask. But I don't care. Put shit 10 feet away from that. My parking lot was so big, I could have took the whole gym and put it out there. And put machines 10, 15 feet apart. And it still would have plenty of room. I had a big fucking parking lot. If you have a big parking lot like that and you don't share it with anybody else, 
hey, fuck, there you go. Stick it out. At the end of the night, you got to pull everything in. But, hey, I wouldn't pull the machines out and the fucking treadmills out there. Maybe one. I don't know. It depends on what you got. For me, it was easy because I had a giant fucking door. You know, I had a giant bay door. It fucking, I, I could have pulled anything out of there. You know? And I put it right back in. Whoop, you know, because we had that big door. But for others, you don't have it like that. But if you have it like that, the only thing I can... You're asking me to way around it. If there's anything you guys could do. The other, the only thing I tell you to do is pull the shit out in the parking lot. And keep it like 10 feet to appease everybody. You know, and 6 to 10 feet if you got some space. To appease everybody. Put a little fucking, you know, put a little stool or a little box out there with a fucking milk crate or whatever, you know, and with a fucking roll of toilet, not toilet paper. Uh, you know, you know, like fucking paper towel and some spray. You put that there and then just make the rule is everybody's got to spray the equipment after they're done. And it's outside. Don't be like one of these fucking momos I see driving a goddamn car and shit like that. There's nobody in a car and you should put a fucking mask on and shit. Or I see people jogging or even going for a walk and they're outside. There's nobody around. They're walking on the side of a road. There's nobody around. They got the mask on. You fucking idiots. You're, for, first of all, you're stopping yourself. You need the environmental germs and everything like that. That's how you build your immune system up. And Dr. Fauci's full of shit. When they showed a picture of him where he has his mask off, and he said, I, I opened it down. I took it down so I could have a glass of water. No, you didn't. You fucking liar. Because I watched well, like 20 pictures on the internet of you laughing. Then there's one with your the, your wife or whoever the woman is next to you. On the one they show on Fox News, she, she's got a thing in with the glass. But I, I, there's other pictures with her, and it's off, and a fucking glass is off. You're fucking full of shit, bro. You had it off the whole fucking game. You liar. You caused all the shit. Anyway. Guys, you gotta take the fucking virus serious, though. It is real. I know some of you are like, no, it's a hoax. It is not. Okay, because I know people died from it. But what I'm just trying to tell you is, it, I don't know how serious it is. And well, you know, and there's a lot of, and I do believe the numbers are skewed. I tell you that. But if you bring the equipment outside, to answer your question, uh, Paulie D, if you bring the equipment outside and your space is just right, and you're allowed to be open. I don't see why you'd have to wear a mask. If you're outside and the next machine or next barbell is fucking 10 feet away. And you got your little fucking spray there in a milk crate with a fucking, you know, paper towel roll. No harm, no foul. Because if you, you know, if you could do that. But then you'll go to fucking, you know, Walmart, Target and all these other places. I know in the air you wear a mask, but you're next to people and shit. Even that, that's kind of stupid. Because it's your hands you got to worry about. You could wear 20 masks. It doesn't matter. If you're over there and you touch something, like, oh, look, a little cross trophy. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Oh, wait, my nose itches. There you go. Forget about the mask. Will you lift it up to scratch your nose? You know, I got a big fucking nose. Everything fucking itches on me. All right. That's it. <clears throat> Guys, listen to me. This is going to end. It's not going to be like this. I know, I know. We all know that, hopefully, please God, Donald Trump's going to win. But if he loses, and fucking Joe Biden takes over, the day he gets sworn in, all of a sudden the COVID virus, hey, it's by coronavirus, what the fuck's that? I don't know. It's magically going to go away. That's what I think, and that's what everybody says. So, let me put the school board down. Wait, wait, no, let me keep it, because we might have to figure out what we learned. So, what do we learn? We learned that uh, I like to blast and cruise. I don't like to keep trying to, like, trying to add more and more dosages. I like to, first, I like to fucking hit it hard, just like when you get, like, a Z-Pack, and the first day you load, you take two. I like loading it all up, boom, and then cruising with the same amount. That's what I like to do, okay? You tape it down. I don't taper up. I bam it, just like, just like the fucking Zithromax or other drugs where you, where you load it. Uh, I want to, uh, um, if you're looking for Dave Palumbo's formula and your zinc bothers your stomach, you can get, you know, like Dave's got his isolizing, or not his, what the fuck is his shit, his vitamin mineralized shit, but you can get any multi-mineral, any multi-mineral, don't take your zinc alone if it bothers your stomach, it bothers my stomach, I have a lot of trouble with it, everyone's getting nauseous, we're gonna, you know, hurl or something. And his zinc lozenges even bother me, I'm that fucking, yeah, I'm that fucking delicate, okay? Anyway, so, uh, just like vitamins, especially B vitamins and everything, they work best in synergy. 
Okay, so if you're going to take the fucking minerals, take your zinc in with other minerals, like a multi. It won't bother you. All yeah, right? It happens even with me with nice. I could take 15 mil, uh, 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 micrograms of nice and I'm fucking ready to die. And I'll fucking flush. I'm like, <laughs> you know? And then I go and I, I could take 20 or 30 and that's mixed into a supplement and it doesn't affect me. And it's not that fucking easy nice in which is an hospital anyway. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna hit the fucking shit, you know the babani, you want to fucking locate it. You're gonna locate it in this. You know, Matthew asked me about the triceps. You're gonna put it in. You know, triceps. I will put it in after, not before. I feel it affects my pump, and I want to feel the workout. I want to feel the soreness from the workout, not the soreness from the shot. And sometimes the soreness from the shot affects you. We can't move right. <clears throat> Paulie D asked me finally about what do you do for a gym that could be open, but they want you to wear masks. Is there any alternatives? What can you do so you don't have to wear the mask while, you, while the gym is open? And the only other thing I could think of is like I had, a, I was lucky. I had a big bay door, big parking lot, move to some of the equipment outside, keep it fucking socially distanced. All right, and there you go. All right, guys, listen to me. This is going to pass, bro. This is not going to. The, the, the masks. <clears throat> Masks are kind of bullshit, you know, just like we saw Fauci sitting at the Met game, you know, where he didn't have the mask on and stuff. He had it off. And he had it off the whole game. Don't listen to that. He went to get water, okay? Because there's pictures of him sitting there like this. And, and, and his, at first, the one picture, his wife next to him has a mask on. And then for the rest of the game, she doesn't have a mask on. So, it's bull and they're sitting right next to each other. Listen to me. Okay. There's two things. When you were sick, when you were a kid, if you have a brother or a sister, or maybe you had a best friend or whoever, okay, or you have children now, you know, no matter what the sickness is, right, if somebody had a bad cold or the fucking, you know, that shit going on, what's, what do you always do? Stay away from me. You stay there. Am I, you know what I mean? That's social distancing. That's basically was the same fucking thing. If you had a brother in the house or a sister in the house and you, they got sick, or you were sick. A lot of times your parents would be like, no, 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 leave little Joey alone. You know, he's not feeling well. You stay over there, you know. Cause they, or sometimes that shit would run through the whole house. One get it, everybody got it. Because you're in social distance and you guys were next to each other. You same toothbrush eating on the same plate. You're fucking playing with each other. That's why. It's going to pass. This shit is going to pass. It, it, you know, we have to go through this. It's unfortunate. And their guys are just climbing the walls about this. I know this, man. I know this. All right? It, I, it's it's going to pass. It's not going to be like this forever. I mean, it's even, I, I think about the guys who fight MMA. Can you imagine, you know, my daughter's a fucking jiu-jitsu. They're not allowed to do it here. It's closed down. Great, and Gracie owns it. It's a Gracie jiu-jitsu. But, but let me tell you something. You can't, what are you going to do once it starts? You get all that fucking, you're sweating and breathing breath on each other, dripping sweat and shit on each other and shit like that. And now they're saying that if they do open, they may have to wear different suits or this or that. Bing, 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 bing. It, you know, obviously shit's going to change, you know. There's going to be a different normal, but this ain't it. There's going to be a new normal, but this ain't it, okay. We're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to find ways to do things. I, I don't believe in wearing a mask the way you're working out. I think that's for some people, you can give them a heart attack or, you know, or, you know, or fuck them up, you know, bad. Not necessarily a heart attack, but it may be a stroke or something. I don't need oxygen. You're not getting enough oxygen. All right. Just hang in there. Just simmer down. Hang in there. Stop fucking freaking out, okay? Things will work out. If you got to go get some little weights for your house, go get a little weights just to keep you sharp for now. I don't have any, you know, uh, uh, I do have weights, but I don't use them, all right, because I, they're packed away, and, you know, I, I'm still recuperating from this bullshit here, you know, and down there, you know, so I haven't lifted weights at all. The only thing I do is bench dips, a little exercise just to keep myself sharp, and you'd be shocked. People will see me like, dude, you still look jacked. It's because... I was built naturally first. So if you, uh, you know, like one of you guys wrote, uh, I saw him made a comment that said, um, you, you knew this guy from your gym and he was, uh, he was super jacked, uh, uh, you know, back in March. And then this shit hit and now you see him, he's 40 pounds lighter and he looks like he never lifted a weight in his life. This guy's like that, bro. Because when you start and you're working out for two weeks and you're already like, hey man, I've been working out two weeks, dude, where can I get a little, you know, like, you know, a little, a little gear, 
Уже всас. Тут есть что попание. Гир. Give me a break. So. Anyway. Relax. Things are gonna things are gonna happen. Just pray to God the right people maintain office and they, they can put the kibosh to all this. Because once the election's over, right now you can't do anything. Hands are tied. Election's coming. You know, if Trump went like this, like this, somebody's gonna be like, ah, ah, sick tea, just sniffled. You know what I mean? Like, they're gonna freak the fuck out. You know what I mean? They're gonna use anything he does against them. Once he knows he's reelected, that's when the fucking shit's gonna hit the fan. Pray he gets reelected because you don't want that dead body in there. You know, fucking Joe Biden. It's like weekend at Bernie's. You know what I mean? That's what that shit's gonna be like. All right, well, we're not going to get into politics, but we, this matters right now. And every All that matters right now because it's affecting you. It's affecting every one of us right now. We're going to the gym and everything. I got a Democratic fucking, I'm over here with Cuomo. You know, they got fucking gyms in their basement and everything. They don't give a shit, you know. Well, you know, I'm fucking fucked. In New York, man, it's the fucking savages out here, bro. Whew. You know. Anyway, all right. Keep the faith. Go to chaosnutrition.com. Go see what they got going on over there. If I am at a show, I'm going to be at their boot. All right? With Joe Pietaro. So stop fucking around. Stop fucking around. Find a way. Remember Rich Piani used to say, whatever it takes. Well, find a way. Stop fucking around. I'll see you next week.